Hello and welcome back to my channel. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Maybe don't be so cringe, okay. I'm doing fine, thanks for asking. I know you didn't ask, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. Okay, let's stop this. Let's... All right, I'll behave. <laughs> so, why are we here today? We're here to... St well, actually, this is gonna be the first part of a video slash series. Back with me. Okay, let me take it from the start. Here she goes again, rambling. By the way, if you're not interested in this, I have timelines, so skip right to the packing because I will be talking for a while, I warn you. So basically, if you didn't know, I live in Norway and here, as you might imagine, the winter is very very long and very cold and very dark and very depressing and very i can find many other <laughs> words to describe the norwegian winter mostly negative <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> i really love norway and i love living here but the winters are tough so in order for us to avoid <laughs> a small part of the winter or the winter depression if you will we decided to go for a long winter vacation i guess i have not had an actual vacation this year. I mean, I have taken a little bit of time off, but not really a proper beach hot country vacation. And as a person that grew up in a warm country, I do feel like if I don't have an actual, at least one week of a proper summer vacation, then the winter tends to be harder. <laughs> than if I do. I have mentioned before, we did get married this year in June. And fortunately, the weather in June was amazing. We are very lucky with the weather. So we did have a lot with planning. Planning a wedding is very hard. It takes a lot of time and energy and money and many other stuff. So we didn't have time slash the energy to plan for a summer vacation. And instead we thought, let's take a long vacation at the end of the year when the winter starts and the cold and everything. Some dry skin here. So initially we wanted to take a two month vacation, preferably somewhere far where it is actual summer because in Southern Europe, I mean, it is warmer than here, but it's still, you can't really, you know, bathe and stuff like that. It's it's not really warm. We were thinking somewhere in Asia probably because we would really love to go back. Anyway, so the plan was for two months and we were thinking like, what are we gonna do for the rent? Because we obviously have to still pay for this apartment here. So then one day our landlord sent us an email saying that, yeah, I uh, would like you to move out. We do have a three month notice, both on our side and on her side. Basically, we had to move out in three months. And three months from the time that she sent the email was exactly the time when we planned to travel in the beginning of November. And we were like, perfect timing. <laughs> it is going to be sad to move out of this place because we've only lived here for a year and we really like the apartment and the location in the area and everything. But at the same time, it's gonna be much better for us not to have to pay for rent while we're living somewhere else. It kind of felt like all stars were aligned. So we didn't take it so sad as we would have if we just had to move out, you know? So anyways, instead of two months we decided to go for three months at least for now that's the plan maybe it will change who knows it's going to be a vacation to be clear it's not gonna be our honeymoon because our honeymoon is going to be in the maldives i'm manifesting it we haven't decided anything yet and uh, we will not be working so it's gonna be a proper vacation but this time it's going to be a vacation we will be working from there i mean we're gonna be away for <laughs> a long time so we have to work so this video slash series of video will be of me packing for three months in a different country, in a different continent. We're gonna put everything in storage, deciding what I'm gonna to take with me and uh, what I'm gonna pack away. Yeah, it's gonna be a vacation slash moving packing series. Did I need to explain this much? Probably not. I hope you're not bored. Let's start. Okay, so again, this is gonna be in a few parts because I will not be filming all today. I'm gonna start packing or preparing some things from now and then some other things further down the way. It is now the beginning of September you will probably see it after we travel. Yeah, I'm not sure about it yet. I mean, I tend to take a long time to edit and upload the videos from the time that I filmed them anyway. So anyways, I've been rumbling for 10 minutes. I thought I would start this video today because there are a few things that I can do already today. And the less things I leave for the end, the better, because I know it's gonna be a stressful time. So today I decided to do a perfume choosing section of the video because obviously I'm gonna be going away for three months. And I'm a person that, if you didn't know from, please leave me alone. <laughs> 
you scared me. So yeah, as I was saying, if you hadn't seen my perfume collection that I had from the video that I uploaded a few couple of years ago or one year ago, I don't remember. Yeah, if you haven't gathered, I have quite a few perfumes and I do tend to rotate through my perfumes. Often I don't like to wear one single perfume all the time. And being away for three months, I would like to have different perfumes to use and not only one specific that I will definitely get bored of. So I have done some kind of preparation. I have ordered some stuff like packing, helping stuff. So I didn't film that. I didn't feel like it was necessary. One of the things that I ordered or a few of the things are this kind of perfume bottles or what are these called? You know, the small bottles where you can fill them with perfume and then you don't have to take the whole bottle with you because I will not be taking full size perfume bottles with me because space and weight are going to be a problem. By the way, they did not come with this bag. This one, I ordered it separately. I don't know. I ordered a bunch of stuff. So, okay. So I have six of them and I think those are going to be enough. I mean, they are small and they're not going to take a lot of space or weight. I think this way is such a cool way to take with your perfumes when you travel away. I've known this before, but I never really bothered to buy something like this because I was like, if I'm going away for like one week or two weeks, I can just take my whole perfume bottle that I want to use in those couple of weeks. It's fine. One, it's enough. And I usually buy the smaller one, the third mil ones so they don't take that much space anyway but this time i cannot take six full even the 30 mil bottles with me i got this in these very cute pastel colors as you can see them here they are so cute i really like that they have a nice matte frosted finish and uh, yeah i think they are very cute uh, i'm gonna put them here and i brought my perfume collection right here this is everything or these are the bottles because i do have a few small samples that i might take one or two with me we shall see as you might remember the like, perfume collection video i used to have them displayed in my shelves but they were getting light and also sometimes sunlight which is very bad for perfumes i was worried that they will start going bad so I, one day i decided like let's put them all in a box this is a my airpods pro max box that they came with and i was like hmm, this is perfect because they usually quite sturdy i was like yeah this is perfect for storing it, it does fit all of them and i put them in my wardrobe where i can close and there will be no light getting in and i thought actually if i don't see them i will probably not wear them a lot but that was not the case because i love wearing perfume every single day even if i don't go anywhere i just automatically go and pick up one and use it it hasn't been a problem which is good so yeah i have them all here and um, i think i'm gonna bring you a little bit closer and go through them together i have to choose six of them I think it's gonna be fine. All right. Okay, so here you can see them a little bit better. I brought you a little bit closer. So I'm gonna start because I already know that I'm gonna be taking this one with me. This is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush. I think they call it something else right now, but um, I've had it for a long time. So I want to take this one with me because it is a very fresh and lightweight body mist and it's really nice for summer. Obviously it's gonna be warm. I didn't tell you where we're going. We're going to Thailand. Yeah, it's obviously gonna be warm there, but also last time I went to Thailand, I had the Bum um, Bum cream with me and I specifically took it with me because obviously I liked it, but I wanted to use it all the time so that it reminds me of Thailand every time that I use it. Mission definitely accomplished. Whenever I wear this, it does remind me of that time we went to Thailand. And um, for that reason, I I'm obviously gonna take it again because I have to. Okay, so that's gonna be one. Now I have two to choose five more yeah this is not going to be easy i have obviously to choose some of my favorite ones maybe i can do something else let's remove this one maybe i could do the method of elimination let's put all of them out here So I know for sure I'm not gonna be taking this one right here because I mean, it's cute and all and I kept it, but this is not a perfume that I really like. I could have definitely taken it with me because it takes so little space, but I'm not gonna be taking it because I don't like it. I'm not gonna be taking this one because um, it is <laughs> it is expired. I like it, but I almost never use it. This will definitely not be coming with me. What else? I know I'm not gonna be taking this one with me. Another one from Sol de Janeiro. This is the, I told you now they've the name and it's called Brazilian Crush Cheriosa 40. Now I think this is called Cheriosa 27 I believe. Anyways so I don't think I'm gonna be taking this one with me because first of all I don't want to waste I mean oh. 
does smell nice though and it's nice and summery but do i want to waste a bottle on this one okay this is a maybe i'm not gonna be taking this one with me this is a ahmed perfumes i believe i got this one from dubai by the way this is rose noir i like it but it's not one of my go-to so i'm not gonna be taking that one i'm not gonna be taking this this is by red or gypsy water as you can see it has barely anything left so there is no point of me putting it in a perfume atomizer so this will not be coming what else what else can i eliminate so i'm not gonna be taking this one with me this is the oscar de la renta bella rosa again i like it not one of my favorites i don't see the need for me to take it with me also another one the giorgio mani c fiori i think this is called this is very intense it's nice and floral and everything but it's super intense i don't think no i'm not gonna take it with me i will not be taking it with me what else will i not take this is hard i have one two three four five and fifteen sixteen and i need to eliminate it to five <laughs> Jeez. what else will i not be taking i think oh but it smells nice so these are nice summery perfumes okay let's see damn it okay so i am not gonna be taking this one this is the valentino donna born in roma i do really like this perfume but this for me personally is a winter perfume that's when i actually bought it during the winter not this year obviously i bought it during the winter and i used it during the winter so for me this reminds me of winter which is something that we don't want so even though i really like it i will not be taking this one with me so another perfume that also is a little bit wintry in in my opinion is the Le Labo another 13 I will not be taking that one even though I love Le Labo perfumes this I'm not gonna take this one this is a Burberry Brit it is very fresh and summery perfume but I, I'm not gonna be taking it because I just simply don't love it I like it it's not one of my favorites so I don't feel the need to take it let's see man this is hard this is hard okay i do want to take summery perfumes but i also want to take perfumes that i like i mean i like them all that's why i have them i am definitely gonna be taking the jo malone orange blossom cologne because i love this one so you can see i've used quite a bit of it so i'm definitely gonna be taking this one reminds me of summer mm, i love this one too damn it i'm gonna take this one another perfume that kind of reminds me of winter is the jo malone blackberry and bay cologne this is i love this perfume but i cannot always wear this i remember i took this one with me on vacation once and even though i really liked it i felt like if this <laughs> mixes with sweat and you know whatever it's humid this is not <laughs> the best combo so for that reason i will not take this one as much as i love my dior j'adore i will not be take this one because also it is a little bit more crisp i guess and i like it more during the winter no i don't think i'm gonna take the jo malone nectarine blossom and honey even though it's a nice spring perfume i don't think so we have eliminated quite a few i think i'm gonna make a choice okay we have number one here i'm definitely taking this one this is valentino voce viva which is a really nice perfume for the summer i would say spring summer i really like it and also it's a little bit more kind of nighttime in comparison to some of the other ones like for example the body mist let's not keep it close to the candle and the color from Jo Malone because those are a little bit more fresher and during the day so I do need the perfume for like evening and stuff like that so that's gonna come with me that's two okay I am not taking C the original one because also reminds me a little bit of the winter even though I really like this perfume I don't think I would want to smell like this in a warm place okay I am going to take for sure my Guerlain Mon Guerlain because this is one of my all-time favorite perfume but also it is a very lightweight and fresh perfume this can work all year round basically and also this was my wedding perfume if you didn't know i'm taking that one we have three we need three more i'm not gonna be taking my chloe nomad even though we are going to be nomads this is one of my also favorite perfumes i really love this perfume it is more for evening and stuff like that i really like it but it could be kind of wintry not really but kind of and also ali kind of hates this perfume <laughs> and even though i don't care i'm gonna still keep using it but when i have limited space then i guess this is not gonna be my first choice so i'm sorry this is nice this is um, Givenchy irresistible i got this one when i went to malaga 
a couple of years ago I believe and although I really like it it's fresh and everything this reminds me a lot of Malaga since I bought it there for that reason I don't want to mix it with another country I want it to be its own signature Spain reminder perfume this is gonna stay so we have those five remaining and three places so I'm definitely gonna take orange blossom from Jo Malone English pear and fresher I am eliminating this one the replica lazy Sunday mornings perfume it is a little bit similar with this one the English pear and fresher but also because I wear this quite a bit at the gym because it's nice and fresh so this reminds me a little bit of the gym here and I don't want to have much things that remind me of back home <laughs> because I guess I want to be like there in the moment and to feel like I'm living somewhere else and then we have those two so this is what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna take a sniff at the chosen ones here and I'm gonna see kind of what I went for and whatever it's missing, I'm gonna choose on that. Warm, spicy, fresh, evening, very nice. Sweet, fresh, soft, lavender, amazing. So far we have different selection, which is nice. Orangey, not exactly orange. It doesn't smell like orange, but it smells like orange blossom. <laughs> it is called orange blossom. Creamy perfume, so I really like that one. These are the six perfumes that that I will be taking with me. It turned out differently than I expected it in the beginning because in the beginning I thought I would only take like my six most favorite perfumes. There are some perfumes there that I absolutely love but just because they're a little bit more wintry I decided not to take them. Will I miss them? I have to kind of go with the summeriness of the place so yeah these are the ones. So again I have Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush, Voce Viva Valentino, Guglon Mon Guglon, Jo Malone Orange Blossom, Le Labo, the Noir 29. I didn't really talk about this. This is also an intense perfume but I decided to take it because it is nice and florally but it's also intense. I only kind of have like two more evening perfumes and I thought this is a little bit more like sophisticated I guess and very special and uh, one of my really really favorite perfumes. I really love this perfume. Just to have a little bit two kind of more evening perfumes, more intense one. And then at the end I decided to go for the Jo Malone English Pear and Fresha which is also a really nice fresh summery no spring I would say perfume these are the six ones and uh, let's take this ones away and I guess let's start filling them this is the fun part it took a little bit more time than I expected so I'm gonna open this you open and you're supposed to take it easy to remove that one too so that we have this one exposed and obviously I'm gonna choose the yellow one because they're both yellow I mean you don't need to take the cup off but this has quite a big tube I don't know how it's go let's try this one is it working or is it all coming off oh yeah it is working I don't know if you can see I mean some of it came out but it's okay so you might be able to see there is some liquid inside so that's nice Okay, that's nice. Next, Valentino Voce Viva. Because of this pink writing that it has here, I'm gonna go ahead and choose the pink bottle. This has a smaller tube up here, so I think it's gonna be a little bit easier to fill with less spillage. Yay, it's working. I think that six of my perfumes are going to be enough for three months. I mean, those don't fit too much inside, but I think it's going to be enough. I'm gonna put this one in this purple one because it has lavender, so I think it's fitting. Okay, my nose is going crazy. Next, we have English Pear and Fresh I'm gonna use the pink one because I feel like that's the only one that... Okay, the one that goes best from the ones that I have left. Orange Blossom is gonna have to go with a green one because that's just what it is right now. I did not have an orange one. And last but not least, Le Labo Noir 29 on the blue one. Okay, so here I have all of them. They are full, so I don't think that there's gonna be any problem with them leaking, but I do think that I'm going to try to put some plastic film here. I have like a special lab plastic film. It's called Parafilm, the one that I have at least. We used to use it at the lab to seal things. And uh, I'm gonna see if that stays because I don't want to waste perfume. So I think those are going to be enough. I might, might take a couple other like sample ones with me just to have a little bit more options but I think like my six favorite perfumes are going to be enough this house smells like a perfume store right now my nose is about to explode so um yeah I need to finish with this task <laughs> 
okay so that is it for this part now it did take longer a lot longer than i expected but for now that is it for the perfume section at least i will be doing a makeup section but actually whatever makeup i decide to take with me that's going to be hard considering then choosing six perfume was really hard and it took me like 45 minutes to film this part yeah the makeup one is going to be hard and long that's for sure and i'm also gonna do like nail polishes probably then i guess at the end i'll do like a final pack everything together but that's that's going to be definitely the last part so yeah i really hope you enjoyed this one i'm not gonna do an outro because you go straight to the next part hello hello again this is the next section of the video today we are going to tackle the nail polishes by the way today is a couple of days actually after i filmed the first section of the video i actually didn't expect to film a new part so soon but it so happened because so basically i did this thing where i had all of my nail polishes in a bag and i randomly with looking chose one of them and I changed that every time I did my nails I did that because I have so many nail polishes and I wanted to get the chance to use all of them not only the ones that I would normally gravitate to anyways and in that bag I had only my bright summery spring nail polishes and I was like okay it's September I kind of want to slowly transition towards more fall shades I mean I love some summer shades but maybe it's time to go a little bit towards the more warmer nude shades that go better for this time of the year before I travel and then I use my summer shades again. I was like maybe it's time to change the nail polishes that I have in that bag. For that reason I took all of my nail polishes on my bed that I have in front of me that you'll see soon and I was like okay let's divide everything. What do I consider like summer shades? Put them away. Then I have only the shades that I want to wear right now to put them back in the Bag so that I can randomly choose again and I was like okay since I have all of my nail polishes already here and I'm doing like the division part why not film it and why not already choose from now what I'm gonna be taking with me to Thailand so that I don't have to do this job again so hence we're here all right I'm gonna turn the camera you're gonna be able to see everything warning there are a lot of nail polishes that's all I'm gonna say okay Let's do that. Okay, the sun comes in and out, so I'm sorry if the lighting is unstable. All right, so here is everything. So I've already separated a few things. So here are the summer shades that I've already separated. They're gonna be more. Here are kind of wintery shades that also I don't want to be using right now. And here are nail polishes that either are in the project bottom right now or will be in the future. I just wanted to kind of have them separately. Well, then let's continue. I think I'm gonna have it as a time lapse so that we can go through it faster. And if I say something, then I say something. Also, I'm gonna have one more category for nail polishes that are new and I haven't used before. They're not gonna be that many, but they are, I think, a couple. I will probably put that up there somewhere. Now we can continue. So, winter, winter. Yeah, I wanna wear that right now. So these are the newer ones that I haven't worn. New, I don't think I've ever used that one. By the way, just because I consider one shade wintery or summery and you don't <laughs> or you like to wear them year round, don't get offended. <laughs> Use whatever you like whenever you want. I have used summer shades during the winter, so I am not judging you. Okay, I'm gonna leave <laughs> a separate category for neutrals and we'll see <laughs> where that category takes us. Here are going to be the full nail polishes that I actually do want to use now. Let's take all the neutrals first. Neutral, is that it? <laughs> One more. One more. This one, London Grace Millie, adorable shade, I love it. By the way, my mom's name is Millie, so that's special. It's my dad's birthday today, by the way. This is a shade that I've made myself actually by mixing. Well, I wanted to achieve one specific green shade, but I 
couldn't and um, this is far from what I wanted to achieve but I created a new shade <laughs> hmm, it is similar to the one that I'm wearing right now which is this one by OPI in the shade my dogless is a hybrid what a weird ass name like what does that even mean OPI has very strange nail polish names I'll put it there why not the more further down the separation we're going the harder it is to choose Oh, I love the shade. This is Isma again from Kale Polish. I hope you're able to see a little bit better. It's probably difficult to tell, but it's a purple with a little bit of a gold shimmer. It's a lovely shade. More polishes. <laughs> I have a lot of similar shades, but they are not they're not the same. We have Miss Honey. This is definitely one of my favorite neutral shades. These are the shades that I'm gonna leave for right now. I think I'm gonna put this one over here and I'm gonna add these two because they're the newer one that I haven't used yet. And I think this is this is okay for fall shades, I guess, with a few exceptions. Now this hard part and the reason why we're here. Now I'm gonna choose the shades that I want to take with me to Thailand. I don't want to take too many because they weigh. It's gonna be mostly from here, a few from there too. Okay, now summer is shades shades that i know for sure that i love for the summer and i use a lot one of them is the holotaco the floor is guava i love 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 the shade for the summer especially on my skin tone i love it this is gonna be one of them for sure how many do i want to take actually because there are too many nice summer shades okay we also need one nice yellow shade kale polish tropicana that's also gonna be we need another pink shade this is lovely but these are similar and i'm going to take this one the hair polish mia because it has a very slight shimmer to it and it actually looks very nice on the nails look at these lovely colors look at them like they're so beautiful so this can go back now we do need some greens or actually we need a red yeah this one definitely this one aries it also has a cool finish jelly finish so that's nice now we need greens although i love many of them i think i'm gonna go for this one or am i such a cool shade but no i don't think i'm gonna go for this one mojito okay i might go for this one very cute summery green i could have gone for this one too which is a lighter color it's cute but i think i'm gonna not go for that we do need a light blue saint Clair, or this one no what else do we need oh the shade right here how gorgeous is this they're starting to get a lot we do definitely need some neutrals i'm gonna go ahead and take one of this i'm not sure which one right now because i haven't used them these are jelly finish or i think this one is jelly finish this is just a neutral one from sear colors depending on which one i like more when i try them i want to take one of this so i'm gonna just say this for now but that might change what else do we need maybe one more neutral a darker one i'm gonna go for this l'oreal color in 118 madeleine sucre it also looks so nice on my skin tone okay how many do we have three six nine nine nail polishes but then again it's three months this melee i do need to have melee with me so these are 10 nail polishes okay the colors are amazing i love all of the colors there are quite a few though <laughs> there are quite a few nail polishes they are a lot but then again i'm gonna go away for a while and i do need some variation i get bored of stuff very very often so these are the nail polish i'm gonna take i might have to remove some of them depending on the weight of my luggage we shall see but for now i think that these are the nail polishes that i'm gonna take i mean they are all bright colors for the most of it but i'm going to a warm tropical place i do need bright tropical colors all right so that is it for this part it is hair wash day by the way this is why i have a slick ponytail um yeah all right let's go on to the next part and i am going to the gym